<laughs> happy holidays and welcome to Smosh Mouth. I'm Shane. And I'm Amanda. And we are so happy to have you here because it is Christmas Day and we are here to chat about Christmas. And we have two special guests, Chance and Angela. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> How are you guys doing today? Hi! Uh, Merry, Merry Christmas! Christmas. Oh, uh, It is Christmas Day, if you are listening to this on the day that this drops. Uh, yeah, and it's a good day. I hope you're having a good time, because we are. We're having a great day, and we are all experiencing Christmas on... T- <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> it's that's- guys. <laughs> yes. I've had a bucket of eggnog, and a we're bucket. ready to a go. A bucket. Yeah, good night. Um, <laughs> okay, for starters, I love eggnog. You do? I love it. Like the original way, I, God's I, intended the, the, way. God's, God's given eggnog. <laughs> okay. Because no. there's like a lot of, because since I feel like there's a lot of like fun ways, Trader Joe's has like an eggnog liqueur that's fun. That's mm. But it's not like eggnog, I gotta just eggnog. I put liquor in my eggnog. Yeah. yeah. Eggnog, oh, yeah. eggnog is like. I've never put, I've nuts. never successfully put liquor in eggnog. Oh, I oh. started. Uh, what but do you wait, put you're in drinking it? like I eggs. I drink eggnog. Yeah, just full on. What also, is that? What I is don't that? know. It's literally whipped eggs. Good. And I don't know the rest. What it, do you know? I actually don't, but it's delicious. Uh, we have our team currently working on this <laughs> right now. Yeah. A team of analysts are working it very seems hard. It's like cream and egg yolk. But is I think that eggnog growing up, we always growing up when I <laughs> my grandparents would always put bourbon in it. Yeah. Or you could put Bailey's in it. Oh, okay. but that's so much cream yeah, already. Yeah, Bailey's no. already cream. When you're drinking it, are you having it warm? No, I, I, I would so just get it out of the... No. I would just get it out of the fridge, pour myself like a small glass of it, because you can't drink a ton of that, and I would just drink it. I, it's just like I, a milkshake in a carton, yeah, right? Yeah, but with bourbon, Wait, then it's alcohol. Have you not had no, eggnog? No. I've, had, I've had eggnog like cocktails. Yeah. An okay. eggnog, like liqueur. Like, Ooh. there's the Trader Joe's one that always goes I out that me and my roommate drink. grab immediately. It's like this eggnog liqueur mm. thing that is so freaking good. Well, they good. also make almond milk eggnog. That sounds disgusting. That if you have lactose issues, which I kind of do, I got almond milk eggnog. Guys, sounds I awful. have me, a Christmas tree and we got almond milk eggnog and it was effing delicious. Yeah, to I me, that is, a- that is bizarre. Saying you have dairy issues, but you want eggnog, where do you even begin? Just, <laughs> where, like, what, what is you that? Just, just have a side the- of nutmeg. A yeah, like what do you? There's nothing you. There's nothing you can have that you like about it. Listen, I have the the milky drink in my hand, and it's and it's not going to make me shit my pants to death. No, you're right. You should be able to have it yeah, too, that's, but that's it's fair. so dairy. It is so dairy. dairy I would trust an gets. oat milk eggnog. Okay. Ooh. Okay. See, we're, we like that. We don't like almond. For At some that reason. point, though, if I have if Come I have night. if I can't have dairy, then I'm going to drink the like hot cider. That's gonna be my move. Yeah. So Ooh. is that? Are those like Christmas traditions for you guys? Eggnog, hot cider. Like, what are the Christmas drink traditions? Ooh, for you guys. Mold wine. My mom loves to do the mold really. Wine thing. What is that? Uh, I, I, spices, spiced wine, spiced wine, tea, and it's tea. So that's oh. just wine. What? You can do tea oh. and then red wine. So that's just red <laughs> wine with like a stick of cinnamon in it. Yeah, my mom. My mom no. makes it like in the in the crock pot. Yeah. Yes. And I, I, I think it's. I'm not like Rock a red pot. wine person, but I, uh, the mold wine. I'm just kind of like. No. Eh, no. It sounds like your family's doing pretty traditional. My mom loves Christmas, and my grandma, she like Christmas was very stereotypical, like '50s oh. Christmas with the all the same decorations. Like they loved to to Christmas Eve was more like. Yeah. It just the the vibes. Yeah. Um, but my mom recently wanted to get into the mold wine thing. Mold wine. Well, mold yeah. wine for some reason the idea of it sits not right with me. Well, yeah, it's it's like heated think, up. What did she do to you? I think it's just like <laughs> mm, good question. <laughs> <laughs> good question. I don't love it. Is that one of your what's your, one of your drink traditions for Christmas? Do you have <laughs> vodka? Yes. <laughs> Straight. Yes. <laughs> 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 Vodka soda? What isn't your drink Ew, tradition? Vodka usually? soda me, on Christmas? My parents, yeah, 100%. A vodka soda? And Bailey's, she loves Bailey's. Ours is definitely like gin, rosemary, oh, and no. cranberry, and nope. soda. That sounds great. And that sounds eggnog. Great. Mm-hmm. So there's a cool thing that you can do. You can put 
um, cranberry, rosemary, and then freeze it. Yes. Make those ice cubes. Oh. And then, It looks yes. like a little tree in your cup. Yes. It's very Pinterest. Your parents did that back in the day? No, they did that's not. Yeah. My parents just- I was going to say, that's very 2005 Pinterest girly. No, no. My parents did, well, we always had it at my grandparents, so it was always eggnog and bourbon, lots of wine. Like, we are just a oh, wine- yeah. My family's that way, Wine too. family. And then, just a bottle of Bailey's if you want it. No, nothing really hot. We didn't really do mold wine or hot cider yeah. or any of that shit. Uh-uh. We didn't have any drink traditions growing up, uh, but my family doesn't really drink too much. Um, but did you grow up in a cold climate? Uh, no, cold grew up in Arizona. Climate. Arizona, yeah. So, it was, so it it's was crazy not. you had hot no, yeah. snow, though. No. We grew up in a cold climate. But the thing about East Coast people is when it's freezing, we drink iced coffee. We're f***ing weird. Yeah. We like cold things. Wild. Like... I was just there on the East Coast in Southie, and it was so cold, and everyone got iced coffee. That's Even the wild. cops. I don't know why. Even the cops. We don't like, Even the cops. We don't like drinking hot shit unless it's like coffee, uh, or, or like later in the day. But we even have hot coffee in the summer. It's wild. We yeah. just don't have hot cider or any of that shit, mm. except on Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving is like hot cider, but Christmas. Mm. Do you guys have traditions wine. on Christmas Day? Yes. Like, what do you do on Christmas Day? My family was. We like, open like, the sock and boppers okay, yeah, and we go we to town. Open the presents. <laughs> okay, yeah. What was everyone's Christmas what the hell like do we growing do? up? Yeah. What, what's Christmas morning tradition? Because some people I think go hard on Christmas, and some people grow up in families where it's kind of like whatever. It's and that's fine. I was gonna but say Christmas your mom Eve is stacked. It's like you yeah. gotta go this place, this place, yeah. this, place yeah. this place, this place. Your this mom place. is an inspiration because I think I want to be that way. I. I want my kids to be like, yeah, my mom takes this really yeah. seriously. Because I have a crazy thing that I do that I thought about this morning um, where I got in my car and I was like, oh, it's not December yet. Where once December starts, I lock myself in musically and I will not let myself listen to yeah. anything Same. but a uh, Christmas carol. Oh, um, you only listen to Christmas music through all I, of December. Yeah. Once Same. December starts. Like if I want to listen to music, it's going to be a type of Christmas music. Yep. It, wow. I will not let myself. And even this morning, I had like normal music playing and I was like, doesn't feel right. Yep. Really? It feels like I should be listening to Christmas yep. music. I listened to Christmas music the moment I got my Christmas tree and I was like, oh no, That's what it I'm has begun. <gasps> See, December 1st, I'm out. I think I'm usually day after Thanksgiving, but there's such a long period this year yeah. that I'm like, I don't know if I can do s five weeks. That's what. I, yeah, I'm waiting, but so I don't four go weeks, crazy. Definitely. I growing up, I I was obsessed with Christmas music. I w I was so stoked. In fact, I would want to listen to it before Thanksgiving. Like if it started to play mm. on like one of those mm. you know music channels mm -hmm. on yeah, TV. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Um, but as I've gotten older, I don't know, man. I think it's because they're the same Christmas songs every year. And I'm kind of like, all right. Like. Yeah, there's some remixes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like Ariana Grande. I feel like. Absolutely. I Santa like Tell Me is my favorite. Christmas that one's good. Yes. I mean, I Faith Hill like keeps the newer you coming. Ones, She'll redo something. I every love once Faith Hill. Oh, the Grinch, the Grinch song. <gasps> you know, the Grinch song that she sings? I was not expecting you to go, oh, the Grinch <laughs> song. <laughs> oh, okay. So Christmas. So Christmas, do you guys have any specific traditions on actual Christmas? Yeah, we were talking about that. Um, Other than music? Other than opening presents? No. So Christmas Day, I have a weird family where uh, my parents were the black sheep and moved out to California because my parents got a, my dad got a job out here when they just got married. For Marvel. No, no, no. <laughs> that's a rumor. So, her, so her dad, Stan Lee. <laughs> okay. Oh no! All right. The only person that works for Marvel at this company is Russia. Please, <laughs> for Russia. Russia. In a Russia <laughs> movie. <laughs> it's a Marsha movie now. Um. So, uh, so all of my family, all of most of my family is in uh, Florida and in Miami. So every Ooh. Christmas since I've been a kid, we go to Florida. How did I know oh. that? Um, yeah, but then, but then my my Italian grandmother on my dad's side. Once we moved here, she moved here too because she wanted to be with us. So at some point, we were like, okay, we're gonna stay here for Christmas Eve to be with my grandma that lives mm. here, and then Christmas Day. We're gonna open our gifts in the morning and then we're gonna get on a plane. Jesus. So we can be oh, in Florida God. the rest of the day. <gasps> Was that Christmas enjoyable? Day. Or you're doing it that? I mean, when we were little kids, I guess it worked out really well because we just like get on the plane. And I think it was cheaper for my parents to fly the day oh, of. Oh, yeah. Super oh, cheap. yeah. Super yeah. cheap. And then ever since then, it was just like weirdly 
a fun tradition it started where like we would like get on the plane and then show up and then my all of my cousins would pick us up from the airport Wait, and that's it was a party. Cute. That's really cute. And then cute. we'd go straight to the house and it was just like another present party. Okay. Yeah. That's really cute. But now it's it's gotten it's gotten old because you're, you're still doing that. We're still doing it. That sounds awful. Yeah, it's it's now old and my brother and I will bring little shooters to the plane. Wait, okay, that sounds yeah, actually kind of fun. And my brother and I will just be in LAX at nine AM and it's I, empty. You know what? I love you know the what? airport. I love spending I think I've switched exact, about your oh, opinion on this yeah, four times. Here. You know what? That sounds really, really fun. Well, I feel like growing up, my tradition was like, it was very, mine was like a five day event. Like Whoa. it was like Christmas Eve was very specific. We always went to a party, clo- like my mom's good friend, and then we always did midnight mass. Always. What's Every- midnight mass? Midnight mass is mass at midnight. midnight. Got it. So mass is going to church. Yeah, going to church. Okay. So we would do midnight mass and every single night, every every single Christmas Eve, and then you go to bed and then you wake up at like five a.m. Were the kids separated from the adults or were the adults in the same room as the kids? So my mom was a children's liturgy teacher, so she would take the kids into a separate room. And what like, age were was the divide at? I don't know. I feel like it's like thirteen. I think when you're a teenager, you yeah. If, if you're like fourteen yeah. or fifteen, you have to sit there. Wait, I'm on the oh. edge of my seat. You got up again at five a.m. Yeah, we get up at like five or six. That a. sucks. Growing for up, for what? For Christmas. Your guys' presents. Christmases suck. So you open Christmas the presents. presents. So you, you guys open do the not presents know how to do Christmas. You go you're through. drinking hot dairy juice. Yeah, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I'm over here drinking hot dairy juice, and, and that's my away. only obligation. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, you guys are waking up early to oh. either travel across the country or go. Friggin' listen to someone. Christmas is Christmas is not rest. The holidays in my family are not rest. They're actually like it's fucking go time. Oh, this sounds like the East Coast or it is not. It's a lot of people's holidays. It is a lot of like religious families' holidays are. You wake up. You you open your stocking, which always has clementines in it. Like my mom just covered it in fruit and then and then like random shit. That's us with salami. Yeah. (laughs) And then and then you have a big breakfast, and then you go to your grandparents. My Christmas, oh, my Christmas is rocked. Okay, (laughs) I was having the like classic. So uh, ours was not like a religious Christmas. My mom is is religious, but like you know, so she would sometimes be like, "Yeah, and this is the day," and I'd be like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, cool, cool, cool." Um, uh, Presents or the Um, gifts. But I was so as a kid, I legit believed in Santa, like hardcore. And I was I was amped about it every year. Spoiler um, alert: If you believe in Santa, turn this off now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, correct. If you believe in Santa, uh, if you believe in Santa, and your kids stop are around, watching, stop listening. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be disappointed. Um, but I would send the letter. I would uh, be thinking about yes. it all, all all Christmas. I'd be listening to Christmas music all the time. I loved it. Oh, I uh, bet your letter. Were you ever was... on the naughty list? Did you ever not get presents? No, no, no. no. Okay, I don't know. You would got, your parents you do that to no you? Presents? Uh, no, but they would put coal in my brother sometimes when he was really bad. Whoa! Oh, and, they he committed. Would get, he would still get presents, but it'd be like, hey, like that's the whole point of it. I know, but that's I can't believe that. I didn't know it. any parents actually. Yeah, like, my parents aren't. They'll put <laughs> coal in your fucking stocking, bitch. They'd be like, if you act like you deserve coal, you're gonna get coal. It's actually so smart to use the metaphor that society gave them. <laughs> what? I'm jumping on. I'm no, like, you're wow. Right. You're right. It's like there for a it's reason. The it's the like, biggest yeah. report card of the year. It is it's the biggest true. report card of it the is year. Why true. not use it and yeah. cash in? Oh, where do you and get still got coal? Yeah. It was just like, what, what do you Where mean? do you buy where do you get coal? coal? I mean, it's anywhere. You can get at the grocery store? You're from the East Coast and you don't know you where can, to get coal? You know, people like burn it to. Yeah. I don't know but where to get But that gets coal. your shit all messy. <laughs> Who puts that in? And that's the point. Don't be getting, don't be acting all naughty. You're going to get Amanda's never grilled in her life. Um, so, uh, Christmas Eve night, we'd have like a nice dinner, family sort of thing. Um, that'd be kind of it. Uh, otherwise we're not really doing anything crazy, but I would, I would go to bed and I would not sleep. Cause I'm Ooh. just like, yep. I'm, I just, could I'm so up and I'm just like, this. I'm just like, yep. And I'm like, that's why we're I remember, up at 5 I remember looking out my window, trying to look up at the roof, being like, do I see yeah. it? Do I see it? Oh, shit. I heard footprints last here? night. Now I'm stupid for believing in Santa no. because my parents were no. lazy about it. They were lazy about like doing the whole thing. You know, we'd set out the cookies and and the milk for Santa, leave a little note. Um, but my I would wake up at like five in the morning and I'd be like ready to go. And then I'd be kind of yeah. like peeking out, whatever. And then like, you know, six to seven. Sometimes I think it'd be like seven AM. Uh, and I would hear 
commotion because my parents are wake up super early, and then my mom would be like, "Yeah, he, Santa's not done uh, with that's hilarious doing his stuff." And, and <laughs> looking back, I'm like, "Okay, got it." Um, but you just so, ate that shit up. But uh, but I'm like, you could have just like done it earlier in the night or whatever. But I'm like, you guys woke up and were like, "All right, let's set up." All I this think stuff, most parents. You know. Did you? Guys, I think they do it. Oh, my mom took down a whole bottle. Santa? My mom had a whole bottle of a bottle of Sauvignon Blanc and would build the trampoline with my dad. And then they would go to bed. You know, Damn. they would do it at night. Oh yeah, me and my brother once got a trampoline. Oh, no, <laughs> every got year we get a new trampoline. trampoline. Every, every year they would stack on top of each other. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys all believed in Santa. Yeah. Growing Why up. You say it? It whoa, like whoa, whoa! What the? No, the finger just wanted to do this. Can I? I tell you, my fingers up. I did not for um for too long. And I had a moment with my mom that's absolutely hilarious to me where there was one year where I like I like I was talking to her about Santa and I was talking to her about the mechanics of it and I was young and I was like I just like you know I was I was like I don't want to go to bed too late cuz I want to make sure we're like not awake so he can come in and feel good about it and then I was just like but you know and I was like kind of second guessing it and I remember my mom was on the toilet and like she was in the bathroom and I was in her like other her her she was like in the small toilet room and I was in like her bathroom bathroom and I was like you know and then she walks out of the bathroom and she looks at me and she has like eye contact with me and went and we just had this like deep eye contact and I went he's not real is he <laughs> <laughs> and she looked oh. at me and she went yeah he's not real <laughs> it was literally just eye contact uh, and I went oh my god how old were you I don't know, but I remember being young, and it was just the look she gave me, and I went, mm, got it. And then we never spoke of it again. Mm. That's insane. She was probably just like, my job is done. <laughs> you guys had like I an HBO live. level scene. Truly, I think yeah. my mom was just like, I'm done with this bullshit. <laughs> I actually love your mom That's, for that. I respect that. My parents tried to keep up the Santa. I found out that Santa wasn't real when I... Literally was like, I was so investigative. Like, this is when Harriet the Spy movie came out. I was Harriet the Spy all over my house. Harriet the who? Harriet the Spy. Remember that movie? Uh -uh. Anyways, you're not a girl in the 90s. So <laughs> I would, like, hide behind the couch and be like, today my mom is Ooh. working on food and she's baking. Oh, no. So I was very <laughs> investigative. So I remember, like, days before Christmas, I went up to my parents' room and my dad wasn't there and my mom wasn't there. And I was like, all right. What's going on in here? <laughs> and I searched their closet. And their closet was like another house. I swear to God, we their closet was like multiple apartments. I was like, whoa, this whoa. This is naughty list behavior. Whoa. This is and naughty I, list behavior. I in their closet, and I found a whole big stack of two, two all my sister's names from Santa. And I was like, <gasps> and I remember asking, I was like, mom, is Santa not real? And she was like, don't tell your sisters. And I was like, <laughs> okay, because yeah. my only my little sister believed it. Honestly, so. that's probably th that's probably one of the best things you could have found when searching your parents' closet yeah. as a kid. It could have been way worse. I feel. Like. Oh, uh, don't do that. I just feel like I don't know. Just, yeah, I think I was a t I think I was like kind of older. I think I was like. <laughs> I was like I seventeen. I think I was yeah twenty one. <laughs> I saw um, Santa. I saw him, <laughs> so I don't know why you guys are talking like this because it's really blasphemous. Um, blasphemous? Blasphemous. Yeah. Honey. Mm. Um, I saw my my mom brought home books that I'd asked for, and I saw them, or I asked Santa. Of course, for. you'd ask for books. Yeah. <laughs> and That's I hot. saw them. I would like four Bibles. For she Christmas. forgot to put them away, and they were on the counter in a bag. I still saw them, but I was like, I asked Santa for those, so why are you buying them, bitch? <laughs> and then I got them from Santa, but I didn't say anything to my mom, and I kept it a secret for like two years <gasps> because I didn't want her to know that I know, and I didn't want my little brother and sisters to know that I knew. And so we had to keep it a secret. Wow, wow. you're good at like That's being crazy. like, everyone is needs to be on the they same need page to be on about the same this. Page too. That's really sweet. Where I was at, I was like, Mom, <laughs> we need to talk. <laughs> No, see, I so I believed in him, and like I said, my parents would be lazy in that way. Um, and then, but then when I would I ask my mom, my mom would not budge. No, she'd be like, she's same. He's real. I would prod he's real. too. And and I'm talking, uh. she held on till I was like 15. Yeah. Oh. Wow. And I'm like, mom, I I know he's not. And she'd be like, well, I don't know. I think he's I think he's real. And, and I think because I was the youngest, so I know she wanted to like hold oh. on to it. 
But I'm also like, if you wanted me to really believe, you you should have really pulled out all the stops then. But you would be lazy, but then be like, yeah, no, but he's real. We yeah. are so hard Wait, on our parents. I, they like, would make Christmas great, and I, I I I didn't care. I would also be like, yeah, I know he's not real. Like I still love yeah. Christmas. Okay, I still love that is a beautiful yeah. Christmas movie with like Deborah Messing, a mom. <laughs> uh, oh, the mom Deborah Man prophecies. Messing. <laughs> Why Deborah? Messing? Why Deborah? Messing? Okay, bitch. I'm not a casting whoa, director. Whoa, whoa. whoa. Okay, you're getting cold. This let me year. pitch All my right. movie. Let me pitch my movie, and you can cast All her right. later. Well, pitch. also, no. Okay, also, it's better pitch her movie. Yes. Okay. Wait, what? If you, we had a rule in my house. If you search for the presents, if you found the presents, you wouldn't get the presents. Whoa. Whoa. Your parents were cutthroat. Well, Absolutely. Why? You're getting cold. Shit. It's, what? You, my it's parents a had no boundaries. Okay. Mm. They no still boundaries. don't. They still don't. I I would purposefully not search because I think at a certain point I knew, but I yeah. didn't want to like. Yeah, so I was like, I was like, no, I have to believe. It teaches you no, to wait for surprises. Because if you don't believe, you know then he's not real. 100%. Okay, and so a picture movie because I'm dying. Yeah, okay. let's hear this. It's a mother whose last kid. So all the kids have like gone to college or growing up, and you. And it's a kid that's 15, and it's like you. You could play him. I'll put in a good word to casting. Thanks. <laughs> um, I'm not sure and, about that. Yeah, okay. they're they're cutthroat. Um, okay, and. Um, so she's a woman, and she's like she's very uh, heavy, heavy uh, physical comedy woman. Okay, she's she's uh, a Julia Louis Dreyfus, I would say type. Okay, but I don't yeah. want to say anything for yeah. casting. Yeah. Um, and she's super sad. Her son um, is growing up, and it's her last kid. And she's one of those types of stay at home moms where like Marissa Tomei, she, that she doesn't she doesn't um, her identity is being a mother. So now that her kids grow up and they don't need her anymore, she's freaking out. So it's this age where her son doesn't believe in is like. Oh doesn't believe in Santa anymore and she's like no 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 Santa's real Santa's real so the whole movie she's like really making him believe in Santa and she like gets a sleigh uh, and gets all this stuff and she goes out of control tell me that she's divorced and she has a boyfriend that's like a part of it you got it and they and they <laughs> they finally get closer because she's like I need help but I don't want to put this on you and he's like let me help you and she's in full prosthetics as a Santa. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> and then finally at the end she's like I can't do this and he's like mom I'm not going anywhere I love oh. you. Okay, I think I, I don't in. know about Deborah Messing though. I don't know about Deborah. But I'm Messing. in. Yeah, yeah, not Deborah Messing, but otherwise good. Good. Maybe you know who's probably going to steal that project is yeah. Reese Witherspoon. Mm. You think so? I don't think I she's she's <gasps> playing those roles. Laura Linney? So. No, she's too big. She's Linney? too big. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, you're getting cold. Um, <laughs> uh, if 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 Laura if, Linney. if you guys if if you had kids, yeah, would you like? You know, yes. make them believe in Santa. A hundred percent. You let that. You let that go. Absolutely. I would. I want to keep the magic alive. Bitch, I want to dress up. I want them to catch I, me. I, I, I find, I find I like role play. <laughs> ooh, ooh. You're like <laughs> no. making a D and D for them. Absolutely, a whole world. You know what I won't do? I'm like roll for persuasion. I won't do that freaking creepy elf. I won't oh, do the elf, elf on the shelf. shelf. Elf on the shelf. shelf. The bullshit not. stops have here. You yeah. seen, have you seen what some parents are doing to if their kids? If you guys like elf on the shelf, like, stop listening. They on their face with marker and they're like, look what the elf did. Oh, and the kid's shit. like, oh, man. So like, my sister does elf on the shelf and she by accident left it by the oven. And this elf on the shelf <laughs> fucking was deformed. <laughs> Half its face was melted and my sister went, elf on the shelf is <laughs> fucked. And she made her husband go out and get elf on the shelf. And I'm like, Come on. That's Wait, so funny. I thought it started as like a nonprofit. I don't. I, I thought you just buy one of these elves and then you just hide it every you, day. You hide it and if you touch the elf, then oh. something bad happens. Don't touch the elf. <laughs> what? Never touch the elf. Okay, I want to pitch my movie now. Oh, okay, okay, is it Elf on the Shelf? No, it's not Elf on the Shelf. Okay. okay. That will be a horror movie soon, though. Yeah. Oh. Yes. Why elf is it on the, not? It sh I don't, can't believe it's not, honestly. Uh, yeah, Elf, elf on, on the, the Shelf is terrible. Yeah. And Deborah Messing tries to put her no, in the oven. No, enough okay, with Deborah Elf Messing. Okay, Elf on the Shelf can have Deborah Messing. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, really? Yeah, yeah, she seems a little bit, like, stern, and I, I'm okay, into that. Okay, who's the Elf? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> who's the Elf? I don't elf? think anyone's Jake, the uh, Elf. I think... Jacob Alordi. Is that his no. name? I, don't, I, I think big. the Elf is just, it's the little Elf. I don't think anyone plays yeah, the it's Elf. It's the little Elf. Well, who's going to voice the Elf? Yeah, thank you. Not Jacob Alordi. Not Jacob Elordi. It has to be someone with like a weird little voice. Ooh, yeah. Um, I'd love to throw my name in the hat. Okay, okay yeah, Angela. <laughs> let's hear it. Let's Booked hear it. it. I'm a little elf on the shelf. Okay, let me Oh. Yeah, I want to put my name in the ring. Okay, too. go ahead, Chance. Oh. 
Don't throw up. I believe I F on the shelf. Oh, Basically, you're barely going to be able to keep that my voice over He up. literally stole my choices. Okay, fine, 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 fine. fine. I believe I F on the shelf. <laughs> literally okay, the awful. exact that's same thing you gremlins. just did. Here's my elf on the shelf. Hey, uh, you guys going to go to bed or what's the deal? I have that's a question for you guys. <laughs> do you guys do presents for your friends? Uh, some of them. Occasionally. No. Because I get into this all the time because my, my <laughs> love language is gift giving, and that shoots me in the foot financially because yeah. I am obsessed with buying gifts for people. Can I tell you but- what you can do? Secret Santa. Me and my sister stopped buying gifts for each other. We now do Secret Santa. We pick our names out of the hat on, like, an internet thing, and that's what I do with my friends. Yeah. I was going to say, though, uh, my favorite gifts at this point are, like, little, small little things. Yeah. Things that cost less than... Yeah, Three dollars sometimes, or sometimes my favorite. Yeah, like a get. penny that's like flattened. That's what I want. <laughs> oh, actually, I'm not kidding. If someone gave me that, I'd be like, hell yeah. Like, I don't know. <laughs> then what do you do with it? I don't. Where does know? it go? Trinket, <laughs> trinket drawer. Like trinket drawer. I think you have to. I think. I think present for friends is is too hard. Yeah. Uh, pick... Unless you get like a, a bottle of wine, which yeah. is still like that adds up if you're yeah. getting that for a lot of people. White elephant. Yeah. I always say. Uh, uh, consumables are the best gifts. Consumables, candles, like any sort of like like cheese, maybe a nice cheese or something, yeah. yep. uh, or or wine, something or like, like a that. Restaurant because gift that card. way, there's no pressure on like, it's like you're knowing if they this. kept it. Like if yeah. it's gone the next week and they regifted it, you don't know if they drank it or gift not. Gift card is hard because then you know how much it is. Yeah, gift you're cards. You're like, ooh, fifteen dollars. I just don't. Target. I don't know. I, I I have no problem with gift cards. But I don't like to give gift cards. Yeah. But if I, I receive either. a gift card, I don't. I'm I'm stoked. Yeah. I got a couple gifts already. Really? I yeah. haven't started at all. I got all. your gifts already. See, that's what annoys me. You got us gifts. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now we have to get him one. No, you yeah, don't. Just, just no, so you know, no, it's we we're not recording this on Christmas Day, obviously. So I haven't obviously. started my Christmas no, you shopping. Don't. We don't. I mean, I, it's not Christmassy no, at all. That's not how that um, works. Okay. There's, we have no Christmas decorations in here. I just realized. No, there's no. No, you were not dressed for it. No, nothing. So. Yeah, I think, no, I don't mean that, I didn't mean to say that was annoying, but it is like, it is a weird territory, I think, friends, like, within this age range walk, where it's like, it's not like a a known thing to get each other gifts, so it's like, sometimes I have a friend that will get me a gift, and sometimes they won't, and then sometimes I fear, I see it in their eyes when I get them a gift, and they're like, I didn't get you something for Christmas, and then it's like this weird thing. That's why I just don't do it unless it's like a party or a hang, and you know that, there's going to be gifts yeah. that are going to be exchanged. The only time I get people gifts is when I see something and I'm like, this deserves to be uh, I'm the same one. Yeah. And I think I'm the person to give it That's to good. And you got us gifts. Because there was something, yes. <gasps> Did okay. you get us all the same thing? Uh, no. Oh, wow. So you happen to be seeing something and you saw it for all, something for all three of us. You're not going to guess it. Sorry. <gasps> all three That's of okay. us are going to like this. Oh no, it's different. Different things. I do like thing. giving people gifts. Though. I love it. But it, it is tough because I'm the same way where I'm not going to give someone a gift oh, just to give them a gift. So bad at it. I I'm bad I at only it. only if I see something that I'm like, oh yeah. I'm not a good bad. gift. Uh, gifts gifts are not my love language really. Like no. I I'd rather like do something for someone, but it's like every year. And some of my sisters are just on it. They're like, all right, mom, dad, nieces, nephews. I'm obsessed. And with I'm it. just like, I can't. It's gift. Mm-hmm. I'd rather spend the money on a trip home to see them at a time that's opportune. Yeah. Like mm. gift giving, it's just not it's not my love language. I don't know. I don't know what it Fine. is. It's like and I don't even like shopping. Like I like you guys know me. I don't like buying stuff for me. I never mm. online shop for me. I never go shopping for me. Like all my clothes are still from so many of my clothes are still from high school. Like I just don't Yeah, that that shirt is definitely from high school. Yeah, I wear this all the time. But it's like I <laughs> don't I <laughs> I <laughs> uh, uh, oh my god, do no, not throw up. Do not cry. <laughs> don't cry and don't throw up. But buying somebody else something is just so fucking fun because it for is. some reason it's 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 just easier. I I, mm. I it's, if you, especially if you nail it. If you see something like yes. last Christmas, last Christmas I saw a gift for my mom where I was like, "Oh, this is it." And I made I I made her tear up. Yeah, I mean, and I was just, I was like, yeah, let's freaking go. Oh like, my god. Was it an aura frame? Uh, it was actually so. Uh, do you know those maple balls that I've made? Yes. Occasionally? So, uh, those are a recipe that my grandma 
uh, made that was it's it's just like a family recipe thing. It's so easy to make though, um, and I was able to get the uh, recipe engraved on a cutting board, <gasps> and uh, so it's a little more decorative. It's not like a cutting board you're gonna that use. That is. But I got that for my mom, and she, yeah, it was it was. That awesome. is amazing. So, what's the best gift you guys have given? Because that sounds like a really amazing. I was gift. I was it's truly stoked on. It's that, truly yeah. like not even like a price thing. It's a thought thing. Yeah, it's I think a thought I thing. And it's I think it's like it's like creative writing, but in the form of stuff. Mm-hmm. Right, yeah. like, like two years ago, I got my mom because we had a really rough year that year, and she was ne- and she was feeling um, really lonely. And um, I spent, I think, fifteen dollars because it was a, a rescue kitten, and I just got her kitten. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh! What? Truly, yeah. it was, but it was the cheapest gift. gift ever. But it was just a kitten. We never. I so I, I always, as a kid, dreamed of that Christmas yeah. morning where you'd have a new pet. Yeah, I know. Never it was happened. Truly, the coolest no. thing. Which where is I fine, got to but... wrap up like a leash or whatever, or like a collar, and she was like, "What is this?" It was actually so funny. I wrapped up. Out. I wrapped up a, a cat toy that was one of those cat toys with a ball around like like a thing, and then <laughs> it was so funny. I have it on tape where I was like, "It's for anxiety." Look, and she goes, oh, "This is so nice," and oh. she kept playing with it, and I was like, "It's supposed to calm you down." <laughs> Yeah. Oh. She kept playing with it. She was trying to be so nice. She was like, "Interesting. Thank you, Angela. <laughs> Interesting. Thank you, that Angela." That classic, that, that old video of that kid unwrapping an avocado. An avocado. He's like, "It's an avocado." <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so what about you? Did you give a really the best gift? <laughs> give or or get? Uh, give an or incredible get. You yeah. cook good stuff around Christmas. You cook good <gasps> stuff around Christmas. Dude, that's You're my right. gift. If those someone baked me a pie, that would I'd be. That, those are my gifts. Yeah. I usually have like a dinner party or something where I just. Are cook there things the shit you cook or bake every year? Um, lately, yes. I do thumbprint cookies. Nice. They're actually Ooh, my yes, favorite. With like, put your actual thumbprint on I it. I put my actual thumb and I shove it in the cookie dough. And I do okay. like <laughs> strawberry jam or raspberry jam They're or so like good. apricot. Jam. Jam. I do love to cook. Cooking is like my favorite thing. Loaded is, there, mesh. is there a good gift that you got? I can't look at you right now. <laughs> Why? Hey, be nice. Why? Sorry, Chance himself. is just playing with his hair. Yeah, that's all. just frizzy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. For those listening, uh, Chance is just playing with his hair right now. Yeah, and he's really stroking his hair. What do you like to cook at Christmas time? Uh, loaded mashed potato casserole is a must. Ooh. What's in that? Okay, so I use, my mom uses a lot of sour cream, bacon, uh, and cheddar cheese. I use Greek yogurt because I like the, cool. it's lighter and healthier. Um, and then I still do bacon, but I pour the bacon grease into the mashed potatoes and stir it up instead of like butter or some. <laughs> <laughs> and you're from a cold climate area, right? What is this cold climate question? I have. We have Nashville has all four seasons. Oh, so Nashville! A lot of My times bad. it'll. Jane, you're good. What are you? A lot of times I'm, it will. I'm, not, I'm trying not to. I, I don't think it had anything to do with it. I think it was coincidence. But when you were like, "Yeah, I like to do Greek yogurt because it's this and this and healthier," I swear. And then bacon it looked grease. Like, oh. Amanda, you were just like kind of like like. <laughs> oh, really? I don't You're think, I don't think it was I don't think I think you were just thinking about something else. I but I, I also thinking. I had a I had a voice in my head that was like boo. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but I was I was No, but I don't of, like the taste of sour cream and I like the taste of Greek yogurt. When I go for a scoop of mashed potato casserole, I know that I'm not getting anything. I'm not trying to be healthy with uh with a mashed potato casserole. I'm not I, trying to be healthy. You. I'm trying to cut where I can cut. And I don't notice I the like difference. That between sour cream and Greek yogurt, and if it's gonna make a big difference in calories and fat, which it does, then I'm gonna cut it's, it. It's, if, it's, if it's Christmas, I can't taste I'm the difference. To take years it's off my way life. healthier. Mm. Boom. Preach. Like, what I want, are we doing I here? want the nastiest Preach. foods on Christmas. And I'm putting rosemary, I'm putting sage, and I'm putting garlic, and I'm putting onion powder It does in. sound like, incredible. I'm putting some paprika in for a little bit of spice. Like, Sounds great. Oh yeah, what do you guys eat? Like, Some people eat like turkey, <laughs> and some people eat we ham. We, we do onions. Thanksgiving dinner again. You do? It's, d- yeah. it's the exact no. same Ours is a little spread. different. We do yeah. not touch yeah. turkey. What do you guys eat? We, we You're used a ham to family? Buffalo chicken You're dip. a hamly? No, we used to do lamb with mint jelly. What? Damn! I love a lamb. We used to do ma- lamb with mint jelly, spicy jelly, uh, roast chicken, one hundred percent, and then we used to do pearl onion, basically a pearl onion soup. It all uh, sounds great. Kind of old just, school. We do. But so we do a big ziti. Mm. That makes sense. Just one big ass big ziti. And then we do a buckeye. Huh? Huh? Buckeye. We've been doing bacalao every year. Bacalao is salted cod. It's Portuguese. Oh, cool. So we'll have like a whole dish set up 
and it's and my uncle's a fisherman, so he'll bring a bunch of smoked fish. And then bakayao is like it's kind of a bit of an acquired taste, but some people love it. I just am used to it. It's literally very salted shredded cod. Sounds oh. awesome. And you can put it on bread, you can put it on sweet bread, which is Portuguese. Like I feel like Christmas is when a lot of the Portuguese traditions come out. Mm. That's cool. Mm. Yeah. Christmas Eve we would do steak and crab. Oh my, my god. My, but but my parents have cows, so the steak is like like they've killed like they have full cows in their Whoa. Meat. So but I don't like steak. <gasps> oh. I love steak. So then I just eat the crab. Okay. And the loaded mashed potato casserole. But then Christmas eat Christmas Day, we do chicken and waffles. I'm not hating on chicken and waffles. Mm-hmm. That sounds incredible. I'm not yeah. I'm not hating on my mom and, and our cooking. Like our <laughs> cooking is just very standard like spread. Mm-hmm. I'm jealous of all this insane shit that you guys you, are. You can. I mean, now that oh, well, I now sure. that I live on the West Coast, I literally am married to someone who eats Russian food, basically like Jewish food. Where do you get the lamb? That that makes the sense. The lamb for is East Coast. The lamb is East Coast. The lamb is East Coast. I do not eat lamb. Is here. lamb? I was like, where do you get the lamb? lamb? Is East Coast. Got but it. here we'll have like he likes salted herring, which I'm not the biggest fan of. Is that a bird? No, it's a, herring that's is a, a fish. fish. Herring is a fish. But it'll be like a lot of like pickles and like onions and beets. And he makes the most amazing dish where it's like really thinly sliced potatoes and then um, meat that you kind of hammer down, uh-huh. flatten cheese, onion, Ooh. tomatoes, and you put it in the oven and it's layered. Ooh. I could literally have it for days. That yeah, sounds that incredible. incredible. It is so good. Yeah. And they make cabbage wraps. Like him and his mom are just Ooh. phenomenal mm. cooks. No, see, I grew up in the household that had the uh, the canned cranberry. Ah, mm. uh, yeah. That's that's yeah. the kind of hey, well, food listen, we're having. I'm having big ziti that. for Christmas Eve, but then Christmas Day, I'm eating at LAX. So. Oh, that's true. So what do you eat at LAX? LAX? Yikes! Yeah. Well, we go to the Dunkin' Donuts, okay, and we get a donut and an iced coffee. You don't Ooh. go to the Chili's too? That's a mistake. Wait, there's there's a Chili's at LAX. There's a Chili's too. There's a, what do you mean the Chili's? Oh, a Chili's to go. A Chili's, a Chili's to go. It's no. There's a whole bar and everything. You can sit down. Oh yeah. You've I never been to the Chili's at LAX. You have what? not lived. Well, I guess the terminal you're at. I yeah. Think what it's terminal? terminal. What, what airline are you going to? Yeah. Cause I've because I've never seen a Chili's. I, yeah. I, I'm either at the like Southwest. Southwest. Like the different I districts I love of Southwest. Hunger Games. I've been there. I've never been there. I love Southwest. You have to go. Yeah. It's yeah. always lit. It's always packed. Terminal four. Terminal four. Let us know in the comments who is at the Chili's two. Meet up. Let's do a meet up, a Smosh Mouth meet up at the, <laughs> the <laughs> Chili's too. In LA. Oh. We have to buy plane tickets to go. Yeah. Yeah, where are we going? Actually, someone did do their birthday party at a Chili's at, a, at, a, at an airport, and people had to buy tickets to go to the. That birthday is party. so much fun. It's no. that is so much. Our room was a big deal when and it happened. Like, this was a couple no, you're going to go on a trip this weekend. It's my birthday. <laughs> you have to meet me at the Chili's too before you go. Where did someone go? talk about doing that with a Waffle House here? Was that you? Are there Waffle <gasps> Houses? In no, it's No, far. but we were talking about like taking, Going to getting a, a flight house? to go to a Waffle House. Oh, God. Baby. I want to do that. Chicken and waffles on Christmas Day, though. I was I just going to so say chicken and waffles. I Pretty friggin' phenomenal. love chicken and waffles. Me too. I don't know what I'm going to do this Christmas because I'm here on the West Coast. Probably just a bunch of Russian food. Fun. So good. Sounds incredible. The only thing is Russian food is I'm not used to it because it's so much sour cream. <laughs> it's so, I can't tell if you're kidding. No, I'm dead. I'm dead serious. My husband lives and dies by sour cream. That's so funny. I call him I, Dairy Queen because he crazy. loves dairy. One of my best friends in middle yogurt. school. One of my best friends Would in middle never. school. We had. I remember I came over to her house after school in middle school, and we had ravioli. And I was like, "Yes, I love ravioli." And she put a huge scoop of sour cream on top of it. Ah! And I went, "Whoa, you never seen this before." It wasn't ricotta. <laughs> no. It wasn't mascarpone. No, no, no. It was sour Mosca- cream. Yeah, absolutely. Mm, yummy. Mm. God dang. Yeah. We really love talking about food and drink on this episode. Uh, yeah. but okay. Fine, that's Mike, so holiday That is a lot coded. of Christmas. But yeah. also, what's very Christmassy for me is movies. Like, very oh, yeah. traditional. You watch the same movies every year. Oh, not my family. Oh, my, We're watching mom, The Biggest Block. We love to watch The Biggest Blockbuster. Ooh. Oh, really? Not always. So what's this year? Even if it's like, well, uh, it's what comes out on Christmas. I mean, a lot of movies come out Christmas Day. Oh, so you guys go to the theater. We go to the theater around that time, but on the actual day, we'll watch whatever the biggest one is that's just getting released. Like, we watched Black Adam last year. Oh, God, (laughs) no. We watched Black Adam. (laughs) And my whole family is like, 
Let's watch. Well, we also love superhero things. All okay. Of us do. Oh, you're all into it. We're all see, into my it. Even my, my mom parents... is like crying. She's like, "Did you like Loki?" I'm like, "Yeah, I like Loki." Oh, see, my parents are not into oh, that I at love all. That. My my mom every year, she's just like, "Oh, it's a wonderful life." Oh it's my, my gosh. Favorite. And I and it's like and like. <laughs> Nobody else is gonna watch it with her, but sometimes I'll be like, "All right, I'll sit." Oh, Ours is a Christmas it. story. I can't stand I, that movie. Really, it's, your eye really? Out, it's it plays just nonstop. Up. You're gonna end up watching that yeah. movie whether you a like Christmas it or not. Story I feel growing like. up, I was, we were yeah. so annoyed. There's like, the one part that's annoying. Ours is the Christmas episode of West Wing. What? Yeah. That's the most insane thing I think I've ever heard. You guys are a cool family. Life. I'm not. You're we joking. watch it a lot. Uh, what? Or we watch the Christmas compilation episode of SNL. Uh, My family okay. loves that. Okay. Ours is the Grinch. Such- love actually. Oh, I love Grinch. the Grinch. I love that's my favorite I, movie oh my in God. the world. Wait, okay, okay, hold on. Whoa! That's the one it. Christmas thing you brought. But yeah, Chance is wearing Grinch socks, and they are amazing. Aren't they amazing? Oh, that yes. is, I will say, the Ron Howard Christmas, How the Grinch Stole Christmas. That's the, the, is that the Jim Carrey one? Oh. Yes, is my favorite. It's is so good. but besides Christmas movies, I think it's no. top ten. One no. of my favorite movies yep. in the Whoa. world. Wow! It I, is. Uh... Beautiful. It's beautiful. Don't say you've never seen it. I have seen. I okay. haven't seen it since I saw it in theaters. But, oh my god. Uh, oh. I remember not like loving. Shane, I you think... can't even say that. No, you can't even say that. It was like I didn't love it when I saw it in theaters. But Shane, in I know you, and I know the comedy genius you are. You yeah. could take that. You could take that. Wow, I just give you a good compliment. compliment. And I, I think if you rewatch it right now, no, but I think if you rewatch it right now, there are so many hidden gems for adults in there yeah. that are okay. brilliant jokes. So yeah. funny. Max, a car would have paid for itself by now. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Back to my pitch. Back to my pitch. Oh yeah, movie Back pitch. Back to my pitch. Movie pitch. Okay. It's a sequel to The Grinch. <gasps> Cindy Lou is grown who? up. The Grinch is gone now. Cindy Lou who is grown up. I just said her The Grinch is gone Cindy. now. She's looking for love. Oh. She's looking for love. But she keeps trying She's to. She's a slut. She she just like gets people over, and then she wants people to put on a Grinch mask. Oh <laughs> my god! So she has. I a like Grinch... how this movie is just an episode of Seinfeld. Cindy <laughs> Lou Lou has a Grinch fetish, so oh she's god. looking for love. Yeah, George, she wants me to put She's this trying. Mask on. She's like, <laughs> this is my king. Wait, is this a horror it? or a thriller? No, I think <laughs> it's like. Uh, I don't know what it is. So she Maybe gets a musical. Pe- she gets men alone, almost like promising young woman, and she's like, "Whoa, hey. whoa, whoa!" <laughs> <laughs> she's like, "Hey, throw on this mask," and I'm like, "Okay." And they put on the mask, and then she goes, "Throw on the bodysuit," and they have to put on the Jim Carrey bodysuit. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> they have to go nine hours of makeup. It's the actress who played Cindy Lou Who. Oh, that's oh, crazy. Where is she now? Where is she now? What does she look Christine like? Christine Baranski's performance in that movie. <gasps> yes. Is legend. My sister uh, was her for Halloween. You just said, Bren- <laughs> I, I, I am clearly the only person in this room. <laughs> where she's like, hi. So my sister and uh, my brother-in-law were them for Halloween this year. Wow. And my sister, but he looked insane. Because remember, it's the big ass yeah. eyebrows. Yeah. Was it Jeffrey Tambor? Yes, I think so. <gasps> I wish we five night Tumble. at Freddy View and made it look like it was a real story, but you would have known. What? Yeah, there's a real story about this green guy. Who lives <laughs> yeah, I know the Grinch. I've seen this. The, the, Doctor, the, Grinch. the animated one is the one I liked as a kid. See, I think I you as one. a comedian the Jim Carrey would love... one. Yeah, it's just so good. I, I know everything about it, too. I know that he had to go through CIA torture yes, training, yes. too, in order to do that role because it was so CIA insane. torture training? Yes, because the, the, the makeup was the makeup so hurt. intense, yeah. and it was nine hours goes, of putting it on every day. And uh, dinner with myself? I can't cancel that again. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, uh, growing up and still, uh, Home Alone is number one. Oh. I don't think any Christmas movie is better than Home Alone. Elf? Joe Pesci. Elf, Elf is funnier. But Home Alone is overall a Home better Alone movie. Home Alone is Home's a good. classic. Home Alone is, I, I think, a perfect movie. And Die Hard. Die Hard, I, I, I get. Die Hard. They're can, the same movie. People, you said the people, same thing people twice. People can say Die Hard is a Christmas <laughs> movie. I don't have a problem with that. I don't think it's a fun movie to watch on Christmas. <gasps> I love it on Christmas. I'd rather watch The Polar Express. I oh, do not like that absolutely. one. Absolutely. You know no. what I think is a Christmas movie? Oh, whoa, whoa, Polar Express? We have hate for Polar no. Express? F- that movie. That whoa! Movie's weird. That movie's so weird, I do not like that movie. That movie's movie. nightmare. Whoa. The book is great, but the movie sucks. Yeah, whoa. I agree. I agree. 
Do you love it? Is this I really love the Polar Express. Wait, the animation? Hate that movie. Hate that that movie. The hot cocoa scene alone. Oh, Tom Hanks me. came to yeah, slay. Yeah, he did. The you know how many people he voices? He also voices the little black girl. I don't know if you knew that. No, stop. You could have. You could have gotten us. <laughs> Tom Cruise Tom voices the black girl in Polar Express. Tom yeah, Hanks. It's true. Tom, Tom, Tom Hanks. Cruise. No, Tom, Tom, Tom Cruise, Cruise is in it, and he just plays that role. <laughs> Tom Cruise has a special appearance of playing well, the black girl he is in Polar talented. Express. He is, say what you will, but he is he talented. He really went against type on that one. I went to go see the Polar Express in theaters, and I remember it was the day I, I got my Live Strong bracelet. Oh, yes, I what remember. A time. See, that's a mistake. That's why that movie sucks. We took a field trip to go see it. Oh, it was it was amazing. You guys have to appreciate the Christmas movies that come out now because they are going against all of nostalgia. They yes. they are they are pushing I love against. That. It is so hard for them. Also, side note, you know what else is a Christmas movie? Goodfellas. What? Goodfellas is such a Christmas movie, but I cannot rewatch that. It's so it's just too. I, I want to watch an uplifting movie. Women. I want to watch yeah. an uplifting movie on Christmas. Yeah, I want to watch, but Home Alone. It's uplifting. The end. The end makes me cry every time when he looks out the window and the neighbors that hugging his son. Oh. I, I'm always just like, God dang! Like I love and it, that. It, 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 so as a kid, it didn't make me cry because I didn't give a shit about the neighbor and his son. I'd be like, F this guy. You got to go beat up those burglars. Yeah. Now, as an adult, when I hear the, the whole, like, him at the church, and he's talking, he's just like, yeah, I don't talk to my son anymore. I, I, talk, I don't talk to my daughter anymore. Oh. And uh, he's like, daughter. yeah, we have our differences, whatever. And then uh, you see, at the end, they reconcile. They like, reconcile. Oh, it was God. so sweet. It's about family, and it's got multiple mm -hmm. levels of it. It's yeah, that look when she comes in the door and sees him. It's so sweet. Oh, you it's know what so movie sweet. my brother and I are obsessed with growing up was hey. Christmas with the Cranks. Christmas I've never seen with the Cranks. I've, I've seen, seen it. it. Oh, my. My God. Wait, who's in that? Okay. It's um. Uh, wait, who are the actors? It's um the guy who plays Santa Claus, and oh, oh Tim Allen. Tim Allen. <laughs> oh, Tim, Tim Allen. Allen and um uh the girl in the Activia commercials. <gasps> Jamie Lee Curtis. Jamie Lee Curtis. Okay, they get these this crazy tans because they're like we're we're. So it's okay. I'm not gonna explain the movie you haven't seen. Anyway, <laughs> nobody wants to listen to a Christmas. podcast of, ex of a girl explaining a movie. You guys. <laughs> yeah, I do. Y'all remember? I guess you just do. I don't know. They're they're describing premises. Of every Christmas movie. <laughs> you know what was super influential in my childhood was the Christmas episode of Codename Kids Next Door. Okay. And Respect. the whole. I don't even know what this is. Codename Kids I, Next I Door. Know what it is. But also, that's a fun topic is <laughs> epi Christmas episodes. Mm. Um, yeah. So, what is the episode about? <laughs> it's like they go to the North Pole. I tried him. <laughs> oh, is he making this up? No. No. No, it was a real show. It was a real show. So yeah. But their it? Christmas special was bonkers. They were like, it was like, they went to the North Pole to save him, but <laughs> they were like, also X Men coded. So like, there was Wolverine with like. Stop. <laughs> you're you're so mad at it. No, I just it's so crazy. It's like when I watched Krampus. Did you guys ever see Krampus? No. No. Yo, what? No. It's we a Christmas saw... horror movie. It's yeah, about I, Krampus. I, that's probably why it is. And it's insane. Me and my sister watched it. It's wild. Is, is Santa wild. Claus the bad guy, or is there something else? No, there's something else. <laughs> and it's Krampus. And he's a demon. Oh. He's a, he's a Christmas does demon. Does he give people he, gifts, though? I need he a Sarah not, Price Christmas movie. He does not oh, give gifts. She's like, oh, this Christmas time. Yeah. Yeah, let good. me pitch my Christmas movie with Sarah Christ. Yeah. It's Sarah Christ. I kind of want her to find love at the end. <laughs> but And the guy's like, I got you a little gift. And she's like, shut the f*** up. She like slaps him across. But I kind of want, it's Sarah Christ. And I kind of want that home alone moment where she reconciles with her daughter. Oh. But she's on the search for a killer. Of course. And it's the Creekside killer. Wait, I know how the trailer ends. You yes. zoom out. And it's a snow globe, and on the edge of the snow globe, it's this woman walking, smoking, going, I don't know how to get out of here. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's brilliant. She's outside of the snow globe? No, she's on the edge of it, just being like, she I don't know how to like, get out. <laughs> I don't know how to get out of here. And the Creekside Killer's just on the thing, and it's just her in her own snow globe searching for the Creekside Killer. God, that is she so has perfect. To get out. She has to get out. Um, my Christmas movie would be uh, a combination of Snowpiercer and Polar Express. <gasps> oh, and, so now uh, you love Polar fuck Express. Yeah, no, but that uh, that combo I'd like. Yeah. No, I like you have to Polar get through Express. the train. I like, I like the story of Polar Express. 
going back really quick, I like the story of Polar Express. I the animation a, and everything in that movie tripped me the me hell too. I did not out. like the animation. And there's that one kid who's annoying it? as shit. He's so with the glasses. I'm like, I <laughs> get kick him off the train, <laughs> throw him out into the cold. Yeah. Let me see him freeze to death. I hate this. Uh, otherwise, it's fine. That that like that theme, the choir theme in the song. Anyway, keep going. Yeah, the, the music's great. There's the eyes are dead. Yeah, yeah. The animation really. The eyes me are up. dead. The eyes are so dead. I can't get into it. Which reminds me of the. Remember that animation back in the day? What was it? Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Oh yeah. Claymation. Oh, that's Claymation. What is that movie called? Uh, Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer. Yeah. Okay, thank and you. Also, that was. We talked about it. The Life and Adventures of Santa Claus. The mm-hmm. one where he fights dragons. Yes. Yeah, that one's nuts. That one's nuts. Uh, Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer was another staple in my house. And the, the claymation of the Abominable Snowman. Oh yeah. yeah. That was Wild. terrifying. Bumbers yeah. bounce. It was Whoa. So scary. You know who's kind of Yukon cunty? Cornelius, who's man. Cunty? I'm Mr. Heat, my. Wait, yeah. who's that again? The Heat Miser. In that? It's uh, in the Life and Adventures of Santa Claus. Oh, is that? It's not in Rudolph? It's not in Rudolph. I've never I seen it. I think Life it was in Rudolph. Rudolph has, uh, it has Rudolph, it has the elf who wants to be a dentist. Yes. It has yes. Yukon Cornelius, uh, and then it has the Burl Ives Snowman. Did you just recently watch it? No, I just, I've watched that movie so many times. Wow. Mm. Uh, that's got everything. It's got Skinny Santa. Where yes. Mrs. Claus is like, is like, eat Santa, yeah. eat. Oh my Who wants god! wants a skinny Santa? Oh Whoa. my god! That claymation really freaked me out. I think that's why I didn't it watch it a bunch. But no, it freaked me out too as a kid. But then we watched um, the the snow the Snow Queen. Have you ever seen the Snow Queen? It's really old school. Like we had it on VHS. It's like. From the seventies. Whoa! It's called the Snow Queen. You've never heard the story of the Snow I, Queen. I, I know the it's story. It's like two kids who are stolen from their home, and then the Snow Queen lives in this castle, and she's like flying through space. It's an old fucking movie. Frozen. Remember, I had a bunch of older siblings that I watched whatever. Yeah, I feel no, like a lot of people end up frozen. watching some weird ass shit on Christmas. Was no. there a Christmas SpongeBob episode? There's a Christmas everything episode. Yeah. I feel like. But was there one for SpongeBob? There's got to be. Yeah. There's okay. got to be. I would watch the Johnny Bravo Christmas episode. I would watch Cartoon Network and whatever Christmas oh, episode was on. That's what I, I love about Christmas is that there's an episode for, oh. Um, yeah. Incredible. I'd watch What's your Christmas shit. movie? I mean, Home Alone. Oh, yeah. You said. Home Alone is number No, but one. the one that you were going to pitch. It's the. It's, oh, uh, Polar Express and yeah. Snowpiercer. Okay, yeah. So it's it's Polar Express, but it's been running for so long, and now it's the only thing where people <laughs> can live on, on on the Earth. I love that. Because everything else is frozen over. That's great. So you have to survive on the Polar Express on there hot chocolate. There was one show where Santa <laughs> Claus was the was a constant bad guy, and I can't remember what it was. They would, like, always fight Santa Claus. That's awesome. Write in the comments who and we think would, like, that is. I think it was a superhero team as well. Mm, bad Santa? No. What, oh. in, what in your head at it this might... point, when you think of Santa, what comes into your mind? Yeah, what does Santa look kind like of to Santa. you guys? I, mine's the classic. Mine's the, like, Coca-Cola Santa. He's yeah. mischievous to me. You think Santa's mischievous? How can he not be what? sneaking into people's houses? I mean, true. Putting things there that weren't there before. <laughs> Kurt Russell. I know, you didn't ask me if I wanted this. <laughs> you what? got too much coal as a kid, love. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, and, ow, ow, and who was... Ow, ow, no. ow, your hair fell. Oh. Your beanie fell. Um... I'm trying to think what I think. I think just grandpa. Always watching. Sorry. I think grandpa. loyal grandpa. So yours is mis. So chance you think Santa is mischievous looking, like big smile, like up to here. Ooh, yeah, oh. like a horrific man. Uh, not horrific, just mischievous. An aunt. Ew. An I think. Aunt, I old. think loyal grandpa. I agree with Shane. I always think Coca Cola commercial grandpa. Yeah. I think he's always. Jolly. I just think he's jolly. Just because that commercial makes me so happy. The polar bears and Santa. Just to think that they're all open up a glass bottle of Coca Cola and they're sliding down a mountain. That commercial makes me happy. It does. That's pretty sick. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did you guys ever? Hey. I have a Christmas tradition that uh, I, I feel like nobody else does. Did, did any of you hide the pickle? Yes. <gasps> I what? just said this. I just said this to fucking H yesterday. I was like, we need a pickle for the tree. He's like, yeah. why would we put a real pickle in the wait, tree? I'm wait, like, no. It was a tradition. What? It was a tradition we introduced. <laughs> so it's it's you don't need it doesn't need to be a real it's pickle. A, you can it's buy an, an ornament. ornament. You can buy an ornament. You hide so the fake. pickle in the tree. Like yeah. pickle Rick. And then Yeah, so 
you get this this pickle ornament, <laughs> and it's it, ours was just like a glass little. Is this why they sell so many pickle ornaments? Yeah. Yes. And you hide it. <laughs> your my mom would hide it in the tree. Yep. And then my my brother and I, or brothers, uh, depending on which Christmas, would uh, go out, and whoever could find it yep. first gets to open up a present. Gets to open Christmas up a Eve. present. It, then, just yeah, then, right then, Whenever and it's you find hard it. to find because it's green. So it's you're looking throughout a tree, and our tree was just littered with ornaments. Yep. You know who else found That's a green pickle on Christmas? Who? Cindy Lou Who? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ew, you disgusting <laughs> man. Yeah. That's part of his Christmas pitch. Christmas is ruined. <laughs> Christmas is ruined. That's part of his we pitch. The, There's gotta be. We a, gonna find the pickle. You know what? The tagline. You of the know movie. what I hate though? There's gotta be a Grinch porno. Ew. <laughs> Ew, uh, you're right. I have a weird Christmas tradition. You're yeah. right, and I'm mad about it. My family and I, we do, um, when I go to Florida, we do like a big uh, um, white elephant. And for stealing, we think you have to you have to pay the price. So you either, we do like uh, two options. You either have to get iced <gasps> and take a smear off ice, which is only Love for it. the cousins. The adults don't do it, uh, except Uncle Robin. Nice. Um, who can who can really take hell it? Hell yeah! Freaking Uncle Robin, hell yeah! Freaking Uncle Robin can take it. Um, and the adults don't do that. Um, or um, or if you want to steal a gift, you have to do a karaoke song of the person who's the gift you're stealing's choice. Wait, that's Whoa. amazing! So we could pick like a humiliating ass song. I to love make them that. Sing Baby that. Shark. <laughs> exactly. That's amazing. Uh, yeah. Or one year we we only did it. Take me to your Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> one year it was just nine to five over and no. over That's and over. No, it's not. no, God no. Yeah. Oh. Take me to your Christmas one day. Take yeah, me you to your Christmas one we're gonna, day. We're going to crash your Christmas in the this ocean year. if you Yeah, you guys, please. please. We're going to go to LAX. We're gonna They'd be like, oh, these are all your coworkers from Smoosh. Oh. They oh. always say Smoosh and they always say, they always say um, Stew Kid. And I go, it's Star Kid and it's Smosh. <laughs> they just like the double O. They just, I don't know how you just. Stew Kid is crazy. <laughs> it is like, hilarious. Well, it's always you... like the stars thing, the star thing and Smoosh. It's always Smoosh. Yeah, families don't know how to say Smosh. It's just like not, doesn't register for them. Yeah. No. I have a weird, a weird family tradition that we every year we don't do it. It's just for my mom. She does it to herself. Oh, this is yeah. incredible. Always. Every Gets year drunk. has a gift. <laughs> yeah. She, yeah. Every year she has a gift that's to her from her. No. Every no. single no. year. She, op she opens awesome. it up. I was little. She would go, oh my God. And it's the most, it's the a biggest vibrator. gift. And it's the biggest, beautiful wrapped present. She went, oh my God. To me, from me. No. Oh, okay, this that part's crazy. psycho. That's psycho. And she opens right. it and it's always like, oh. It's a gorgeous scarf that I've always wanted. It's no. like a f***ing tradition. This no, you yeah. have to film it this year. You have it's to film too, it. It feels like an invasion of To me, yeah, from just me. For me. Just film it for me. Always. Just for me. Not Every for us. single year. For my private collection. But you guys said dildo. You know, <laughs> last Christmas, she gave me a traveling vibrator. Last Christmas. Oh, yeah. It was me. Now it was me. It was me, my husband, and my sister. And we were all sitting there. And she was like, I got you a gift. What well, makes a vibrator like, not traveling? <laughs> it's tinier. I don't fucking know. Oh, and okay. she, uh, you opened that in front of like your whole family. Yeah. She was dying. That's crazy. Uh, uh, uh -huh. our it made her laugh? Oh, yeah. She, she gave it. She was like, I don't know. You guys are, <laughs> you guys are probably traveling. H, you'll probably love it. And H was <laughs> dying. I'm dead serious. That's crazy. That's fully nuts. And it was opened. The box was opened. What? She opened it? The box was ripped open. No. Yes. Uh, no. So, yeah, I wrote a sketch about it at UCB. And this we is the most it. insane the Because it the literally, sketch? the sketch was. Oh, I saw the sketch. Yeah. It was so good. Yeah. It, she gave me a, a traveling vibrator that was opened. So what did you, what did you? <laughs> <laughs> I, so. And H was just like. This is great, Cindy. Thank you so much. And she's like, ah, I figured you guys would love it. I don't know. That's. She was dying laughing. And she went, it's insane. a joke, but it's not. You should use it. I, 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 why the f is it open? Thank you, mother. Why the hell thank is it open? My mom does a thing where Thanks. now that Santa's not real in our household, she has to describe every gift from a certain Santa. So if she's giving someone like yoga pants, she goes, from yoga Santa. Okay, that's awesome. That's she'll go, cute. she'll go, like if she got my dad some whiskey, she'll go, from alcoholic Santa. <laughs> <laughs> every single I like thing. That. I like the idea of a bunch of different Santas. It's, mm -hmm. it's every gift is that's from a cute. certain type of Santa. Chance, do you have a weird tradition that you do for Christmas? 
Mm. Uh, we always open our jammies up Christmas Eve. We always you have Christmas jammies. jammies. Yeah, I get Christmas jammies every year, and we always open it Are up. Are they the same? No, they're different every year. <laughs> the same pair. Every Do you year? imagine? And now every... my mom kind of likes to do bits. No, but so are she you, got me the like jammies the same? Like no, all the jammies should... are different. Oh, okay, but now they're kind of like jokes. Um, she likes to get weird ones now. What's... So last year mine were like it was black Santa and black reindeer. Don't ask how the reindeer <gasps> were black. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Um. <laughs> <laughs> voiced by Tom Cruise. Okay. Voiced Tom, by Tom Cruise, Cruise voiced all the black reindeer. <laughs> um, but that's pretty much where it. Where do you get black Santa PJs? I don't know where she gets them. I think TJ Maxx because she gets everything from TJ Maxx. TJ Maxx, crushing it. It is literally the best place on earth. Mm -hmm. The PJs are so freaking cute. I only Soft. I got PJs last year from my mother in law, and they were like capris on me, and I was like, oh, oh. yay, snowflakes. That go up to my knees. I love it. <laughs> yeah. I looked like I was from the 20s. I was Whoa. like, to my <laughs> 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 What do you guys do the week after Christmas leading up to New Year's? Oh, yeah. That week is The weird. dead week. Yeah. It's a weird that, week. That, it's, it, it's sort of like that's the holiday week because people yeah. go like, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year. So it's like, all right, we got this stretch now yeah. where we're kind of just chilling. It's just usually pretty chill. Yeah, family. I yeah. chill. I start watching movies. Is yeah. like that's when Same. I really yeah. Prime in. movie time. outdoor walks. I'm like obsessed with. I remember like growing up, we would all like go on like family outdoor walks. Mm. But I moved to not the biggest nature like in LA, so yeah. sure. we yeah. don't have that. But walks, movies, just things that I've wanted to I do. I do watch a lot of movies. I feel like uh, I feel like in a way you could argue like any trilogy or series is a Christmas movie thing because you end up I feel like you end up rewatching a series of movies yeah. around Christmas time. Oh like like Lord Harry of the Rings. Potters. Like yes, a lot of, a lot of the Harry, of the Harry Potter movies. Yeah. Uh Lord of the Rings, I feel mm. like uh, you could end yes. up watching at that time. I end up watching Star Wars a lot. Yep. Same. Like the original trilogy mm -hmm. around Christmas time I'm a big fan. This year, I kind of want to. I haven't seen all of the Sopranos in all of its. You're gonna watch <gasps> all of the Sopranos. Maybe I'll try to do that. I, I love like the that. Sopranos. I respect Loved it. it. You would, you would absolutely love. Well, it. yeah, it's just, I've been sick of being like, yeah, I've never. Edie finished Falco it. is like the greatest human being in that oh, series. Yeah, I want to see it. Um, all right. Well, guys, we have a little fun ending segment that we're gonna try. It's called foaming at the mouth. Yeah. And you each get a minute to rant. Or have a hot take about something that you're really passionate about. Yeah. Okay. You can do it. You get a holiday centric, or if you just have something this year that you've been thinking about. Let's just get it off wild. our plate so we can I, have a good holiday. I could start. <laughs> I, I could start. Mine, yeah. You start. Uh, I'm gonna start. Let me give you let me give you a timer. Ready? All right, sure. Set. Go. I think Christmas is starting sooner and sooner every year. It used to start like I'd say like the week after Thanksgiving was what I felt like it started. And then it was like, okay, right after Thanksgiving, now it's now it's begun. I swear, this year it was right after Halloween that they're like, yeah, now now Christmas decorations are up, and I'm like, this is way too soon. You can't have like two months out of the year dedicated to Christmas. I love Christmas, but it's better if you compact it a little bit more. If if I start if we start doing the Christmas vibes after Halloween, I'm exhausted by the time December first hits. Mm -hmm. I feel like it's I feel like. I feel like it's already been Christmas for a while now. I'm like, no, stop. Preach. It's after Thanksgiving. Mm. That's all Preach. I need. That's all the time I need. Mm. Nice. Thank you, Kronkis woman. Kids? I'm still thinking about mine. You don't have to. If you don't have one, oh, that's I'm okay. Oh, I'm going to have one. I'm going to have one. I'll Maybe foam at the mouth right now. Mild takes. I'll foam at the mouth. I got my Christmas tree, and I was like, what the f***? I don't understand these people that are charging over $100 <gasps> for a tree. It is in nature. They cut it down, and they're selling it to me for over $100. It is a tree that we find in nature, and it's Christmas time. I'm already spending a lot of money. You know you don't get to respond to this. And I got a tree, and literally, if you get a tree under five feet, it's like 70 bucks. Just because you get a tree that's extra tall, it's $185. People hating on short things. What is wrong? Like, okay, I get that it's more... I just I'm pissed. No, it's true. I'm just like motherfuckers. This is in nature. Mm. It is your. <laughs> you don't own this, <laughs> this shit. Is in nature. I don't think they grow them. I don't think they take one from nature. You should pay God. Whatever. You, you should pay God. That's my foaming at the mouth, motherfuckers. Mm. Okay, I have one. Okay, oh, go. Uh, go. Start the clock. 
Clock. This is unrelated to anything going on right now. Why are we always talking about Santa and not Mrs. Claus? <laughs> unrelated to anything. <laughs> Just a question. Why are we always saying that he's doing the work? We don't know what she's doing, okay? Unrelated to anything, I think that she's always pushed to the side, okay? I think we don't know her story, her story, okay? Oh, no. Let her no. have no. A, a stance. No. What's going on Please here? Joe, I'm foaming at the mouth, Shane and Amanda. Oh. I'm oh. foaming at the smosh of mouth, oh, Shane no. and Amanda. Oh, Let me have a, a Give me the mic. She is always just sitting there <laughs> while he gets to eat those cookies. Come on. Also, my second foaming at the mouth, my landlord the other day told me to <laughs> slow down when I'm pulling into the parking lot because his stray cats, I'm going to ro- <laughs> run them over. And I was okay, like, the nerve. Uh, Can I foam okay, at the mouth okay, about a third yeah, thing? Dying, airline dying. food. Oh, okay. my God. There Wait, is no airline love, food anymore. I love the idea of Mrs. Claus listening to this and she's like, shit, no, no, no. No, don't tell she's him. She's like, her I'm story. Not, I don't want to work. Her story. No. Up. History. Sitting back home with a pina colada, just like, oh, God. Oh, my God. <laughs> shit. Calling me in again. Uh, uh, I employ publicists to work on the Yeah, she's like, I don't, don't want to. Okay, Chance. The clock has started, bitch. Okay. I need people to step up their Christmas fashion. Ah! <laughs> Because, like, you're wearing the same damn sweater you've worn the past four years. Get a new one, bitch. Like, it's out of date. It's out of style. It looks a little crusty. You need a new one. Step and it not up. just the Christmas sweater, too. Because I know you're wearing that same damn Christmas tie that you've been wearing the past seven years. Get a new fucking one. Because there are more days, there are more events, and you're wearing the same tie to the same event every year to, to and to multiple events. You're going to wear the same Christmas outfit to multiple b- events on different days? Mm-hmm. No. Yes. No, you're not. Yeah, my, yes, my Christmas honey. outfit today. Yes. Well, it's just like... Diversify your portfolio thank a little you, bit. Thank you. Thank okay. you. Right. The Christmas tie. One hundred. And there are so many Christmas colors that are like not just red and green. Red and green. You yes. can do red and white. You can do a gold. You can do a khaki and a red. Show me something I haven't seen before. Yeah. Let's yes. play around with color a little bit. You just bit. said that you wear the same clothes from when you were in high school, and then you're also true. <laughs> jumping on this. Boat. I love that. That's a good foaming at the mouth. That's that that's good. legit. No, like, I respect and that. And also. Real quick, we don't need to wear glitter every holiday. You don't, don't need, to, need wear... to sparkle, well, although sparkle's well, cute. Yeah. Can you okay. believe that? My landlord goes, can you slow down when you go into the parking lot? <laughs> okay. my stray cat, my stray cat, Crispy, I don't want you to run over her. Oh. Then why is she a stray She's cat? not your and stray cat. And why is she cat? called Crispy? And I went, I can't see a cat when I'm driving up. I'm kidding. I don't want to harm a cat, okay? But Amanda doesn't care about trees. Uh, Angela doesn't care about cats. I care about cats. Happy holidays. Happy holidays. <laughs> and Chance wants you to level up your fashion this holiday. Yeah. So hey. Merry Christmas. I hope that you are enjoying your time and watching your favorite movies. Put in the comments what movies you watched this Christmas. Yeah. What's the best Christmas movie? Let us know. Let us know. All right. Love y'all. Bye. Bye. See you later.